Hi everyone, this is Jody Lester or JL and you are on Elevated Living at ElevateMe.org and this is the Daily Lift. We are continuing with our discussions on relationships in February 2011, the month of love. <laughs> Let's talk about settling down. That term is intriguing to me and I always try and really get into the meaning of words, at least I do now. And one of the things I notice about that phrase, settling down, is that when we really evaluate it, it's talking about settling. And settling is when you're just tired of looking and you want to just put in roots. You want to go ahead and get yourself established. And usually when we're talking about relationships, you want yourself established with a person. And then there's the phrase, settling down. It's one thing to settle, but the problem with settling is that we awful, we often settle down. And that means that we're settling for less. This is not to say that people are better or worse. I don't, I don't even believe that. I think that we're on the same plane, but we're on different parts of the path. And that can either determine whether or not we're compatible or not with a person. Because if we're at different parts of our path, and our paths are not going in the same direction, we're not developing the same uh, strengths and complementary weaknesses, you know, if where I'm weak, you should be strong, where I'm strong, you should be weak. If those aren't the things that are going on, and we've got a lot of opposites, there's a lot of points of contention, there's just so many differences that it's hard for us to move productively in the same direction then we're not compatible, and that can bring you down. And so when we settle with a person who fits close enough, they're good enough, this will do for now because I really don't want to be by myself, and I really don't want to be alone. And, you know, they're really nice, and they're safe, and they're comfortable, and we settle. And we, of we often settle down. And is that really what we want to do? I mean, if you do, great. But if you really want to live this fantastic life that you dream about, where you've got a passionate job, you've got a passionate partnership, you are good with your family, you have fun with your friends, should we be settling anywhere? Should we really be settling? Should we be like, this is enough, this will do? How long is that going to last? I mean, can you take that into the rest of your life? This is okay. I'll just deal with this because they're here. And, mm, some people can do it. And I applaud you. It's noble and honorable. And I can respect that ability. You're a better person than I am. But for me, it's hard to even think about being in a relationship where we're just making it, barely getting by, you're all right, I'm all right, and we're just living the day to day, passing each other, keeping the best of our dreams to ourselves because the other person may not quite get it. We have to be careful with what we go ahead and accept. And we've talked about acceptance. We have to be careful because it's going to mark the life that you live. And if you truly want to elevate your living, you're going to have to raise your expectations. And along with that, you cannot accept anything less than the best. That's in your behavior and that's in the compatibility of the person who you would walk this life with as your partner. But if settling's for you, it's for you. I don't think some of us can really stomach it, not for the long run. In the mortal words of Mary J. Blige, it's too hard to fake it. But sometimes we must live and learn the hard way. Food for thought. 
Well, this has been Jody Luster, or JL, and we're on Elevated Living at elevateme.org. And until we next connect, I am wishing you the very best in your personal and romantic relationships, as well as the very best of life. Ciao.